Hi there, I'm Corinne Davis, and this is my new book, Useful Questions, A Guide to Self-Coaching, which I wrote as sort of a workbook to help people transition from wherever they are in their lives to the next level of fulfillment and satisfaction. I've curated about 30 years worth of questions, lessons, and stories that help facilitate in the journey of personal development. It starts with self-awareness and moves to self-regulation into self-mastery and finally self-transcendence. And today I'd like to read from the self-regulation section on a couple questions that I think might be particularly helpful during this challenging time of COVID-19. So here we go. The questions are, what do I choose to focus on and what's good about this? These questions can prevent you from getting into a funk, help you get or stay out of emotional darkness, train yourself to look for the good, and source your life with joy. The first time I used these questions successfully was a pivotal moment. I'd invested a lot of time listening to Tony Robbins' content on the power of focus just before a vacation I took to Costa Rica with my mother. We were staying at a beautiful resort on the ground floor right on the Pacific Ocean. A few days into a fantastic trip, as we were getting ready for bed, my mom asked if I minded if she left the sliding glass door open and just closed the screen so we could hear the ocean. I never locked my door, so I thought that sounded like a lovely idea. Around three in the morning, she woke me to ask if I had just come through the screen door. I said no and started feeling around on the nightstand for my iPhone, which I was using as an alarm clock because we had an excursion the next morning. The phone wasn't there. I got up, turned on the light, and discovered that thieves had broken into the room while we slept. In addition to my phone, they stole our rental car keys, my wallet, and some of my mother's travel jewelry. We called hotel security, who called the Costa Rican police. We filled out a police report, which was no small feat, since neither of us spoke Spanish and the police ostensibly didn't speak any English. Then we called the rental car company, who initially said they would need to send a second set of keys from San Jose, and that would take several days, by which time we were supposed to be back in the States. After all the commotion died down and we'd done everything we could do, I went for a run on the beach. Initially, I was a bit shaken up. But as I ran down the beach, those questions ran through my mind. Here was the proverbial rubber meeting the road. This was the gist of my internal dialogue. Well, Corinne, what are you going to choose to focus on? And what's good about this situation? You can focus on the bad, the fact that you just got robbed and that because your rental car keys were stolen, you're going to miss the excursion you had scheduled. You can be mad that it happened and that your phone and all of your vacation pictures are gone. You can be mad at the resort and or the police, and you can fabricate stories about setups and the treatment of American tourists in foreign countries, all of which will leave you in a highly agitated emotional state. Or you can focus on the incomparable beauty of this beach and all that's good here in this moment. You can focus on the fact that you're healthy and strong enough to be able to run on this amazing beach, that neither you nor your mother was hurt, that your passports were safely locked in the safe so that you'll be able to fly home in two days, that the rental car company brought another car to the hotel and the excursion let you reschedule, that your mom still has her phone and plenty of vacation photos on it, and that you still have two more days and many more things to do and see in this glorious place. When I got back to the room, I was in a great frame of mind, and my mom and I were able to fully enjoy the rest of our trip. It was such an incredible experience to see how the simple act of choosing and directing my focus quickly and significantly impacted the state of my being and the quality of my life in that moment. That experience was the perfect embodiment of this wonderful quote from Russell M. Nelson, the joy we feel has little to do with the circumstances of our lives and everything to do with the focus of our lives. Your turn. The next time you're feeling out of sorts or down, examine what your thoughts have been focused on. Sometimes it helps to identify those thoughts, but it's not necessary. Often the awareness of feeling off is enough. Then ask yourself, what do I choose to focus on now? And what's good about this present situation? The second question can be more difficult, but there's almost always good to be found if you pursue it hard enough. As always, if you'd like to do more advanced work, you don't have to wait until you're feeling out of sorts to use these questions. 
Make them a part of your routine so that you become increasingly conscious of and intentional about what you want to focus on and you train yourself to seek the good. Thanks so much for listening. Be well.